Hi there. I'm standing near the line that is shown on most maps as being between the coniferous trees and the deciduous trees, or the coniferous forest versus the deciduous forest. Indeed, I'm in northwestern Wisconsin, and on most maps there is this line north of which uh, is this coniferous forest, and south is the deciduous forest. Now, as you can see, though, it is not really a line at all. It's, uh, it's rather a mixture, isn't it? Even right here where this, this supposed line is, um, there are some coniferous here, but there's also deciduous. So the point is to be careful about your interpretation of maps. Oftentimes, uh, we draw lines, points, and polygons on maps to distinguish uh, rivers and cities and uh, lakes, for example, or land use. But these maps are generalizations of reality, right? We simplify things just because the, the natural world is rather complex, as you can see just with this simple example. So maybe the line between the coniferous and the deciduous forest here in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, etc., is really better represented as a raster data set. For example, this particular cell, let's say it's 30 meters by 30 meters, maybe this one, as I'm walking into the, the coniferous right now, maybe it's 80% coniferous and 20% deciduous. But that patch of ground that I was standing at earlier, maybe that's just the opposite. Maybe it's 80% deciduous and 20% coniferous. Certainly as we walk north, from here, we'll have 85, 90%, 95%, and eventually get into 100% coniferous. So the natural world is rather complex. We make sense of the natural world by showing that data, that natural environment on maps, so we can make sense of the world. But remember that maps are just representations of reality. They're very useful representations, but we have to use caution into thinking about what kinds of format the data is actually represented in. So, just something to think about as you interpret maps and think about the natural environment. Thanks!